Are you having trouble flashing your SP Racing F3 flight controller? Today I'm going to show you how. Alright, so let's begin. The first step to flashing your firmware is to download two things. Uh, both of these things are in the description. Um, and just so you know, you can pause the video at any time if I'm going too fast. Uh, but I'm going to take you step by step. So, the first step download this right here. This is the STM32 Virtual Com Port, port Driver seen here. Uh, you need to get this in order to have everything work uh, properly between your flight controller and the computer. So right here uh, is where you get the software in this section. Once you download that, you need one other thing, and that is the USB to UART bridge VCP drivers. Now you can get these things for Windows, uh, Windows 10, uh, Windows XP, and uh, Mac as well, and Linux. So all of these are downloadable links under the release notes. For me, I'm running Windows 10, so I use this right here. This download VCP under the software section. Once you have those two, you need to make sure you're running uh, the most current version of Betaflight. And this will also be in the description. Uh, in my case, uh, Betaflight, the most current version is 1.1, uh, 1, uh, 10.1, actually. And under here is where you can download that. Once everything is installed, downloaded, you can go right into Betaflight. So now that we're in Betaflight, uh, you need to go down to the Firmware Flasher section. It's the third one down from the top. Click on that. Make sure your SP Racing F3 board is activated, is clicked on. We'll do that now. Uh, choose a firmware. You want the most current, most stable version. So in this case, the most current version that's stable is the 3.2.5. That's what we'll be using today. Uh, for this board, uh, it requires a manual baud rate of 256,000. And next step is to hit load firmware. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you. Hold on. So you click load firmware online. It downloads the appropriate firmware. Gives you a list of this release info uh, and some links that you can click on so that it gives you more information if you, if you need to uh, know that. And after all these things are clicked, manual baud rate, check. SP Racing F3, check. Most current stable version, check. 256,000 baud rate, check. You hit flash firmware down here. But before we flash to the firmware, we need to connect the quad. So use a USB and connect it from your quad to your computer and the quad should light up. I'll show you a picture of that uh, right now. Once the quad lights up and you go to this section and do COM5 or it's and for me it's COM5 it might say COM4, COM3 that's just the port that you're connected through through the USB. Uh, in this case that's all you need to do. Now hit flash firmware and uh, you may see a blinking light on the quad stop blinking. That's okay. That's good. Uh, once that is finished, you're all ready to go. You can uh, connect to your quad and go about what you would normally do with uh, setting it up. And there's plenty of other uh, videos on YouTube about how to set that up. And that's all you need to do. Now, disconnect. If you have a problem and you will not flash properly, go to this section right here, recovery slash loss communication follow these steps and you'll be able to connect again. Uh, if you disconnect the power improperly sometimes it just won't ever uh, it won't flash the firmware to your flight controller anymore and you have to follow these steps right here. The only tricky thing about this is understanding what the boot pins are for the flight controller. So I'm going to show you a picture of that as well. Alright guys, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, 
uh, or you want to see other uh, videos of me flying quads or uh, other tutorials, just put the suggestions down below and subscribe because it's free.